How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. My name is Ross Miner and today we are going to be talking about how blind people can play Hearthstone. So if you're interested in this video, if you like it, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe. Let's talk about Hearthstone. So if any of you have been on my channel for a while, you'll know that I love Magic the Gathering and I'll link it down below, but basically I made videos on how I play Magic, how I put Braille on all of my cards and all that fun stuff. And while that's great, it's fun, I still, there's still the problem of finding people to play with, Brailing new cards and all that, and it's just, it, it's very tedious. Well, for a while now, I've been saying that blind people could easily play Magic Arena, Magic the Gathering's digital client that basically is similar to Hearthstone. And I've been saying that people could, blind people could easily play that if it were made accessible. I've tried reaching out to Wizards of the Coast, people who make Magic the Gathering, and just nothing, obviously. And so here comes in Hearthstone, or more specifically, Hearthstone Access. Now, Hearthstone Access is a mod for Hearthstone created by a guy who goes by the name of Guide Dev, kind of like Guide Dog, except he's a developer. I think is very, very clever and funny, but Guide Dev created an accessibility mod for Hearthstone, and it's currently in the works. It's slowly being added onto as we go, but basically, yeah, it allows blind people to navigate and play Hearthstone. And it is incredible, first of all, all the work that guy dev has put into this just huge thank you to him but two it shows that these kinds of games can be accessible that one person made this one person put all this time and effort into doing this but it was still just one person so why aren't these companies doing it um regardless of that point what's clear is that it can be done and so i guess i just want to demonstrate that just me playing hearthstone to show how it could be done and hopefully you know some developers can kind of pick up some strategies and tips by watching this video and the thing is with accessibility that a lot of companies have a misconception about is that not enough people will use it you know we'd be developing for a minority of people but as soon as this accessibility mod came out blind people all over the internet were just coming out of the woodworks to to play this game um even guide devs patreon has so many people supporting it just because blind people people with disabilities in general are are starving for video games to play so pretty much all i want to do is just play one game of hearthstone show you guys just how the mod works to make it known to other blind people that may not follow me on twitter where i talk about this kind of stuff that there's another game for you to play i'm pretty much just making this for documentation purposes that way uh there's someone somewhere down the line in the future that searches, you know, Blind Hearthstone or something like that, that this will pop up and show you how to play. All right, so here we are in the main menu, and as you can hear with my screen reader, totally accessible with NVIDIA, my screen reader of choice. And currently, like I said before, the mod is being worked on as we go, but battling is accessible, crafting cards, sorting cards, buying stuff from the shop, all that's accessible, sending friend requests to friends, all accessible. There's still a lot more that isn't accessible, like other game modes like Tavern, Arena, uh, Mercenaries, but that is all presumably being worked on. So here you have your collection with all of your cards that you've opened or earned, and it's much more than just being able to go through all the cards. Guide Dev has even added ways for us to sort the mana cost or to tab through the different classes to make it even easier to use this mod. So for example, tab and shift tab will go in between all the different classes like this. And then all of the cards are sorted alphabetically and then by mana cost. But if you press one, two, three, four, it'll sort all of the cards by that mana cost. So just like that. All these four mana cards. It makes it so easy to just gather cards, sort cards, craft certain cards, and build decks. It's it's pretty great. But the real meat of this mod comes in the gameplay because there are so many intuitive controls that allow me and other blind people to play the game because making a game like Hearthstone or like I've said before, even Magic is so much more than just being able to read the cards. 
Hearthstone's a fast-paced game, so you only have a minute to make your turn. And being able to quickly snap between card to card and getting the relevant information you need is essential. And this mod has done that beautifully. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to jump into a game of ranked. Just play one game, hopefully it won't take too long, and just kind of demonstrate everything I'm doing. Oh my god. <laughs> Let the games begin. I must protect the wild. Alright, here we go. So we are selecting our hand. I am playing a taunt druid deck. I won't go too much into the meta of the game. I'll just try to play a quick game as possible. I think I'm just going to dump this entire hand and draw a new one. And so yeah, as we play, notice, I'll probably slow down my screen reader, but as I play, notice just everything that it's reading, and I'll try to read all that down, or all that out. Notice how it's just reading everything out. So. This is how intuitive everything is. I press C for my hand. Um, C for card is how I think of it. And then left and right to read all of your hand, or all of your cards in your hand. We are going to pass turn for now, because we're fighting a mage. And then other commands are just as intuitive, like W to find which, or to know which weapon you're using. And then there's always an opposite to see whatever your opponent is using. So Shift C to see how many cards they have in hand, Shift W to see what weapon they're holding, stuff like that. And then when hovering over any card, all you have to do is press up and down to read all of its info. See? Simple. And a lot of this is audio based, you know, you may not even be able to see me moving around. I don't know what that looks like visually, but... And then by pressing B, I can see my minions. By pressing G, I can see my opponent's minions. So it's a nice way to keep everything nice and organized to navigate through with a screen reader. Okay, so far we're not looking too hot. Hmm. I think we're gonna go for a Noyo Tron. Okay, get your shield, shield, heal. Oh, we just drew another noise. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oops, I could have attacked. I should have. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, that's another thing. Even all of the emotes are accessible. Stuff like that. It's pretty great. Okay. 
I think we are gonna not quite go for the kill. Actually, you know what? In the interest of a short match, we're just gonna go all out. Because there's no way that they can get rid of all of these creatures or all these minions. <laughs> you can tell that I play Magic the Gathering. But we have two Arbor Ups, so. Okay. Fine. Nice. Alright. Play the Peasant. Arbor Up. Okay, that is fine. We have another arbor up as well. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> They have eight cards in hand. Okay, yeah. They're probably gonna... That was probably a bad idea for me to just go all out. I mean, they are at 14, but still. Oh, snap. Alright. This is a pretty fun combo. It may not win us the game, but we're going to pull it off. Just going through and seeing... Okay, yeah, they're all one ones and zero ones. Uh... Actually, here, I'll just do this. Actually, you know what? We'll boop bop you. This should be lethal unless they're able to do anything. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, I knew he was going to do that. Oh, we're screwed. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much... That'll most likely be game for us. Um, yeah, let's go next turn. But, like I said, it doesn't matter if we... Winner, lose or not, um, it's about just showing how the mod works. We'll just see if we draw out of it, just in case. Probably not. We have to like get something next turn. Park Panther? Oh no. Yes, yeah, 6 6. Kind of close. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing out just in case. Just do this. <laughs> Alright, so we're at five health, but you never know. Oops, I can see what you're playing. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Probably gonna finish me with a fireball. Yep, <laughs> called it. All right, cool. Well, there we go. I'm glad that was nice and short. Um, that is how the mod is played. Obviously, I didn't go over all the commands because there's a lot of them. 
but there's a readme there's a tutorial or like a text guide on how to use it so i'll link all that down below but uh yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video let me know in the comments hit the like button all that generic cliche youtuber stuff um and if you guys want to see me play hearthstone i stream it a lot on twitch so check that out in the description but i hope this was useful to some of you people out there and yeah catch you guys next video if you guys have enjoyed this video feel free to check out the merch down below and other ways to support the channel like on patreon and on twitch and by clicking the join button on youtube but most of all if you want to support accessibility check out my accessibility merch down in the description as well but with that being said feel free to check out the merch and let me know what you guys think